So I'm working on my book. I finally got back to it. I took some time off to kind of just let it all just breathe. I started working on it last year and it fizzled out. I was kind of in between figuring out what type of style I wanted to make everything. And I think I'm realizing my style is just how I paint. And so I'm a little ridiculous on the factor that I think I'm going to discover something that isn't already there. But I guess that's kind of the beauty of it. Like you make something and you do things and then you discover within yourself all these kind of possibilities. I'm going to name it Dead Paper Kingdom. Uh, I don't know, the name just resonates with me. I love, I love Kingdom. Kingdom just sounds like this place where you, you exist and you are and you be and you become and you grow. And dead paper is just that. These are trees and then suddenly they're, they're not. They're these tools. So in a way it's kind of an honoring of the sacrifice that was made out of them. They didn't choose to sacrifice themselves, but something good should come of them not being alone. On the upside, my plants totally killing it. <laughs> There's something really just peaceful about going outside and sitting and sketching in front of me. Just like sitting around and sketching, not making drawings of them or anything of that nature. I never really had that much interest in doing that. I don't know how it feels. It feels like they give me an energy when I work off of it. Naturally, the dog's staring at me with the saddest face possible. Because she wants to be outside with me, but she wants to crawl on my lap while I'm drawing, which doesn't work. The cat can't go on the porch because she's insane. And also, she'll knock over all my inks, my entire setup. It's kind of the adventure. I'm trying to just find like all these little perfect spots in which to make everything and constantly be making everything. If I had my way, I'd make three paintings a day, which is insane. <laughs> I think I could probably do that for a week, maybe, and then I'd just crash and burn. I was listening to this interview from Charlie Hunnam on the Nerdist podcast. And he said, if you put 100% of your effort into it, the universe will listen to you and will re return 100% back to you. So I'm, I'm trying, trying to do so. I'm getting older, so 100% is a little small as I used to be, which is silly. But that's, that's life, you know, you can't, you can't always live the life you live when you were a kid. Other responsibilities come into play. I have these friends who are traveling all over the world right now. My buddy Mariano is painting in Bolivia right now. He's doing this giant art festival commune thing. And it is the most, one of the most amazing projects I've ever seen. I am slightly jealous. <laughs> I kind of wish I could be doing that. But, you know, responsibility. And that's okay. I'm going to go to the beach next week, just for a day, with my wife and our two friends. We're just gonna show. I'm gonna put my feet in the sand, listen to the waves, and think with my pain in mind all the things that I don't allow myself to just be okay thinking with paint and ink and life. Paint around. Hey guys, just in case I haven't reminded you, I do have a Patreon. Please go visit. I got lots of cool stuff to go on, and it's really fun.